Hello everyone. What's up guys? So Roy the Shok here again and I am here with a new video. So today I will be discussing uh, about hosting and domain. So a lot of you guys are you know creating a lot of websites and using uh, GoDaddy domains and several servers, servers from Namecheam, server from Hostgator, servers from uh, GoDaddy. But one common problem people face while you know um, uh, creating a website you know they purchase domain they purchase hosting but they exactly don't know how to integrate uh, uh, basically your domain with your uh, server provider so today uh, in this video I'm going to talk about how you are going to integrate uh, your domain from GoDaddy and your hosting from Namechimp so let's go ahead and check it out how to do that so you need to go to your uh, domain registrar that is GoDaddy then there you need to go to your product my product and then click DNS once you're here on this page now it's very simple you need to scroll down and then here at name server click change then go to custom here you have to type DNS1 so same like then name chip hosting dot com let me show you what exactly they are saying so name chip hosting DNS for GoDaddy. Let me show you why I'm, you know, uh, 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 basically showing you this reason being uh, people get, you know, confused with this. So it's better to show you what exactly to write. So this is basically a GoDaddy. So you can see. They're clearly, uh, you know, using DNS1 namecheaphosting.com and DNS2 namecheaphosting.com. So you just go ahead and paste this one and then click save. So once you click save, uh, you know, it would automatically uh, get uh, connected. It will automatically get integrated. So domain name server integration is very important. Otherwise, it, it there is a propagation time. It take 24 hours to 72 hours to propagate. But let's let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, it's done. So now let me take you to the my product. From here, go to my product. Then you click DNS or manage any of this. So click DNS. it's done now the next step is to uh, download WordPress because after you do this you have to download the WordPress so for that you know if you already have a domain uh, that's good and if you don't have a domain then uh, you know you need to register uh, you need to go to uh, the home page and then go to domains so for, for for the people who are doing it first time for them they either type wordpress here wordpress so this is for the people who are doing it for first time so either type wordpress or go to softaculous uh, app installer go here and from here go to wordpress and download wordpress for your website if you're doing it for first time so i'm not doing it for first time i have already uh, you know registered one of my domain here what i'll do is i'll show you how to do it uh, you know for a second domain so i am going to register it for second domain so let me uh, do it for second domain for that what you have to do is if you scroll down you'll find add-on domains click add-on domains 
नो टाइप द नेम ऑफ योर डोमेन सो माई डोमेन नेम इज दिस सो इट विल टेक ऑटोमेटिकली सब डोमेन देन एड डोमेन वंस यू क्लिक एड डोमेन so you can see now the uh, domain has been added now what we are going to do is we'll go back and you know we'll uh, download the wordpress and uh, we'll see how to set up a, a blog account so you can see that domain has been added here and this so you know uh, downloading wordpress we will be doing it basically i'll be showing this in the next video but ju just gi to give you a gist you can see i can i can install wordpress from here and i get put all the details but this i'll explain you in a different video uh, in my next video why it is uh, uh, you know needed reason being uh, this wordpress download and set up a, a website would again uh, you know uh, uh, a different activity which i'll show you uh, in a good way in my next video thank you so much for watching my video i would request everyone to please subscribe my channel